Hello, my lovely wishes. It's Holly. Welcome to Dandelion Stitches. Welcome, welcome, welcome if you're new. Welcome if you've been with me for ages. Just super happy to have you today. It's Monday, it's a new week. Ready to shake it up for the week. I got a fire. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> it is a little chilly. It's a little chilly outside. It's okay. I'm I can do it. I can I can do chilly. So um I hope you're all good. Are you taking good care of yourself? Are you taking your vitamins and your medicine and hydrating and all the important stuff? I really hope so, because you're important to me and to lots of people. So uh, today we're going to do uh, another little bitty project to uh, possibly use as a gift for uh, co-workers or friends or your guild or, you know, somebody, maybe you want to make a whole bunch of them and, and use them for something special. Um, we're going to make, I should take the stuff out of it because this is mine. We're going to make these little pouches. You can see they have a snazzy lining on the inside. They are intended to put your tissues in. Let me put my tissues in so you can see. Of course, now they won't cooperate. It helps, it helps if you put the tissues in the direction that they go. <laughs> oh, I think I'm the one that ought to be taking the memory, the memory pills. I do, actually. I don't know if they help because I can't remember. <laughs> mm, bad, 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 bad. Okay, so this is what they look like. They're just little, um, little pouches. Now, you could put... If you're giving them as gifts, you could certainly put a, put a package of tissues in it, um, make some cute little something up that says something cute about sneezing. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Um, you could put gift cards in here. You could put cash. You could put a little bit of a book candy. Um, business cards work really well in here. Um, there's all... It's a great little shape for putting smaller things inside. Um, yeah, okay, so that's what we're making. <laughs> this is it. Um, I, I'm going to make, um, I'm gonna show you how to make one made out of this vinyl. This vinyl, um, I get mine from So Hungry Hippie, and I'll leave a link down below. Um, but there are lots of places that carry vinyl. This particular vinyl is really, really squishy. Um, so it's really easy to sew with and work with. So, and then I'm also going to do one um, that will be doing using just quilting cotton. So at the end, I will show you that one. So uh, let's go ahead and um, make some cute little pouches. All right. So today we're going to make these little tissue cases. Um, they're super fast, like super fast. Once you've made one, you can just whip them out like crazy. This is the one that I carry in my purse all the time. It's got my my tissues, but also I keep a folded up mask. I old habits, you know, you never know. So I just keep one with me all the time, and it's small, slides right into my purse really easily, and I do not carry a large purse. So that's mine. And this is the one I made this morning. You can see it's got blue on the inside and it's all shiny and cool. Um, this is intended for vinyl, but I'm gonna make one not using, just using regular quilting cotton so that you can see the difference. Um, if you ever needed a good excuse to buy a half a yard of fun uh, vinyl, um, this this is your opportunity. But there are other other options. So for this tutorial, uh, and by the way, this is not my pattern. This is um, So Hungry Hippo, Hippie, So Hungry Hippie. I always wanna call it, anyway. Um, she created this, but it's, it's sort of free range. You can do it. Her video is probably way better than mine, and I'll link it down below. So um, 
to do this, you're gonna need a seven by six piece of interior of lining. You're gonna need an eight by seven five by six inch piece of exterior. You're gonna need, maybe, you don't like, only because sometimes uh, vinyl moves around a little bit, you might need some binder clips. I think I used two. Um, something to cut with, something to measure with. And then I did pink the, the um, seams on the inside. You could also just zigzag them. If you've got a serger, you can serge it. What, you know, it's, as my friend Marcella would say, it's make your own adventure. So uh, let's, let's start making them. So we're gonna start with um, the outside fabric facing up. I happen to be using batiks, but um, you would do the right side down and you're gonna start on one side and this is where I, this comes in handy because you don't want to put a pin in vinyl. And we're going to go to the machine and the first thing we're going to do is stitch along this line and then we're going to go over on this side and line it up on this one and stitch again. So let's go to the machine. Okay, we're doing quarter inch seams or as close as you can get. And I am gonna back tack at the beginning and the end. Okay, so now we have something that looks like this. So there's a little left or left over here, but that's okay. We're just gonna push it down, line it up, use those binder clips if you feel the need. I do. I feel the need for speed. Switch back over. All right, so then we're gonna take our little sewn together thing with jig and we're gonna fold it right sides out. And then you're just gonna lay it down and you're gonna kinda wanna um, line up that lining piece in the center as you are able. This is not like a big deal. You just do that and because we don't want to put the iron on the vinyl unless you're going for some really crazy, you know, like uh, decorative weirdness. Um, so I just do a finger press down both sides. Pretty good. So then we're going to fold it over. It doesn't really matter. We're going to fold it over and just crease in a centerpiece. So that's our center. So now we're going to put it with the right sides up 
And now you have two options. Unfortunately, I'm only going to show you one, but here are your options. You can either bring those side pieces to the middle and then pin them at the top and the bottom, or you can move one over a bit and then crisscross them, not crisscross, overlap them. So you'll get a little bit of an overlap on the outside. I didn't, I made one like this before. I really didn't like it, but it's a pot, you know, you, it's one of those possibilities. So we're gonna bring those pieces to the middle. And we're gonna take a binder clip and stick it right on there. Over to the other side. Take another binder clip. So I've just clipped like right in the middle on both sides, right? Right in the middle. So now I'm gonna to go to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew across both ends. But, okay. I'm gonna go back and I'm just gonna go over the opening one more time just to give it a little bit more stability. Could have could have gone backwards when I did it. Didn't think of it. Um, and I'm just going to pink along the very edge, being very careful not to cut through the seam. I keep doing that, sorry. Slightly wider seam at the bottom could be found helpful. All right, there we go. And now we are going to turn it right side out. marker or whatever your corner poker is. Now is the time. Don't poke too hard. I know, 10 minutes later. 
a few minutes later. And there she is. Looking party. I like this blue. It's kind of a unicorn-y. See it changes colors. And there's the inside. So now I'm gonna go ahead and make one, <coughs> excuse me, out of regular quilter's cotton and we're gonna see the difference. Could they be easier? I don't think so. Super fast, just zoom, 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 cute. Um, the vinyl makes them look kind of like spiffy, like they're super special. Um, so blue. And then I went ahead and did the um, quilter's cotton. This one turned out super cute too. Oops, upside down, upside down moth. Um, honestly, as far as durability and uh, they're the same. They're, cotton works just fine. Um, I did do a, a layer of uh, sh Shape Flex. The Pellon, I think it's SP101. Um, to give it a little more body and it just, yeah. I mean, it works just fine. So, um, sorry about the voice. Um, I mean, think how many of these you could crank out once you, if you cut them all up and so you could crank out a bunch of these babies. So I have cut the blue and I'm going to call this one unicorn. I have cut three of these and three of the unicorns. So you would be getting the exterior and the lining already pre-cut for you. Three of the blue, three of the unicorn. Okay. So we're gonna try something new. <laughs> do I do change well? Mm, no, but we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. So um, instead of sending me an email, and we'll get to that in a minute, you're gonna put in the comments down below, unicorn or blue. Whichever one you would like to be in the running, to win. I have no shipping. I'm just sent, there's so little. It's not gonna cost much to, to ship them out. Um, I'm gonna be using a new program that searches my comments for those words and then uses a random number generator to pull the winner. So uh, no emails, don't send me an email. Don't put anything in the subject line. Forget the emails for a minute. Uh, we're just gonna try this program. Uh, I got high hopes because I spend a lot of time writing out names and no, giving you a number and going back through finding who is a, a, a lot of time that I could be sewing instead of doing that. Not that I minded. And we'll, again, we'll get to that later. So if you would like to win the makings of the unicorn or the blue, you just got to put it in your comment down below. You can you can write unicorn and then whatever else you want to say or or nothing. But um in the comment section unicorn or blue. And then uh I will this this little program will will use will find me the winner. So um emails the main reason that I have been really resistant about using a program like this is because sometimes you guys write to me really sweet things and or that you just want to get something off your chest or you just want to say hi or you just and I don't want to miss out on that. I don't I I've gotten to know so many of you by those emails that I want to win something. Um you didn't know that I was using those <laughs> as a bribe <laughs> so that I could get to know you better. Um, so if you would like to send me an email about anything, please do. Please say hi. Please. My granddaughter had a ballet recital and it was awesome. I, I love that stuff. So if you still got something to say and you want to send me an email about it, please do. I don't want to lose you guys. I don't want to miss you. I don't want a bot to take over my relationship with you. And I know the more subscribers I get, the harder it's going to be. But you all mean so much to me 
that that's the story. So I hope I explained that well. It will be down in the description box. If there are any questions, please email with a question. That would be awesome. Just don't email me with, me with I want to win unicorn or blue. So I hope that was good. Um, this was my first time recording in the new room. I know that the tutorial, I was kind of out of the light um, now and then, and for some reason I could not get my camera to focus, um, but uh, you know, we're gonna, it's, uh, we're gonna keep learning. We're just gonna keep figuring it out. So be well, be safe, stick with me. I, it's just gonna keep getting better. Uh, hugs to everybody. Love you, bye.